वेलकम टू दी जावा प्रोग्रामिंग सीरीज एंड टुडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू राइट डाउन दी प्रोग्राम टू स्वैप वैल्यूज ऑफ टू वेरिएबल्स सो बिफोर वी जंप इनटू टू प्रोग्राम लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दी डेफिनेशन ऑफ दी प्रोग्राम सो वी हैव टू स्वैप दी वैल्यूज ऑफ टू वेरिएबल्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू टेक दी टू वेरिएबल्स राइट सो लेट मी जस्ट ट्राई टू राइट डाउन दी टू वेरिएबल्स लेट्स ए इंटीजर ए इज इक्वल टू टेन एंड बी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी परफेक्ट so we have identified the input in this program so let's try to identify the output of this program so what will be the output to be required so definitely we want to print the value of a and value of b right but we don't have to print the value of a and b as it is we have to print the value of a and b after this swapping right so currently if i'll run this program what will be the output so definitely output will be 10 and 20 right we are just printing the value of a and b which is 10 and 20 right so if you try to look at the structure of the memory there will be a variable a in the memory which has a value 10 and there will be a variable b in the memory and it has a value 20 perfect so now we have to write down something here we have to write down some logic so that the value of this two variable will get swapped so updated value of the variable a should be 20 and updated value of b should be 10 so this is our requirement so you have to write down some logic here so that the value of this variable will get swapped so just try to pause the video try to do some brainstorming how can you swap the value of variable a and b so we want the output i will not touch this two statement but still i want the output 20 and 10 so let's understand this program using one example So let's say we have a two bucket. Uh, let's say in one bucket we are just storing the water, and another bucket we are storing the milk. Right? Let's say bucket A and bucket B. Right? So here we have a milk, and here we have a water. So I want to swap the content of this two bucket. Right? So how can we swap the content of this two bucket? So definitely we need the third bucket. Right? We need some third bucket which is empty. So I'll just take the third bucket. which is the empty one right let's say bucket c okay so first of all i will just transfer the content of water into the empty bucket we can just transfer the milk as well right so now this one is empty right here we have a updated one here we have a water so this one is empty i can transfer the milk into bucket this one okay so here we got the updated one which is the milk right now this is empty and finally i can transfer the water into the this bucket so here we will get the water okay so now this is empty so finally content of the a and b previously it was milk and water right now it is a water and milk right so same principle we have to apply here so first of all we have to take one third variable which is empty so let me just take let's say integer c now we have to follow the same sequence that we have followed here right so first of all we can transfer a or b value into the c right so how can we do that in java so i can just transfer the uh, let's say value of a into the c so i have to write down c is equal to a right now value of a got copied into the c perfect so here we just transfer the value of a into the c right now we can transfer the value of b into the a right so i can just write down a is equal to b perfect so now b is empty right now finally we can transfer the value of c into the b right so we can just write down b is equal to c perfect so what we are doing here we are just first saving the value of a into the c right now value of a got stored right then we can override the value of a so we are just writing a is equal to b so b value will get transferred into the a right perfect now we need to update the value of b right so we can just write down b is equal to c that means whatever values we have stored in c we are transferring into the b perfect so now value of a will get transferred into the b and value of b will get transferred into the a finally when i run this program we will get the swapped output right so i'll just try to run this program and we will able to see that now we are getting the output which is the 20 and 10 So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments regarding this video, try to write down into the comment section. Thanks everyone and we'll see you into the next video.